Let's take a look at what we can do with the custom functions in Google Sheets. So I've got my script editor open here. I've got that attached to an untitled spreadsheet. And uh, we can actually create pretty easy custom functions. I can just build one really easily. We'll say function my name and I can just return my name. Return and I'm going to give it a string Tim. And that's all we have to do. If we save this, uh, let's go ahead and give our project a name here. If we save this, once this is saved, if I go back to my spreadsheet, I can just type in a new function, my name. And that's going to load that from my Google Sheets uh, script editor here, and it's just going to execute this function. So you can see here, my name, it calls my name, and all my name does is return Tim. So it's, it's pretty straightforward. There's not a whole lot of craziness there. Now, um, I can use this function over and over again. And you know, I can add a couple of different things there, but let's say I want to change this function and we save this. Now the, my spreadsheet will update to kind of identify how that has actually changed. So you can see here, I, uh, the, as soon as I made this change in my script editor, all of my function results in my spreadsheet changed as well. So that's kind of nice because I, uh, I can just write something and then if I need to change its behavior later, I can modify that pretty easily. Now another thing that you might want to do with the custom functions is you might want to concatenate some text. So we haven't really looked at this much yet, but in Google Sheets, I can actually concatenate text. If I say, you know, my name is, and then I can use an ampersand to concatenate text. So I could just type Tim here, or, you know, I could use my function. So you can see this is actually giving me, it's, taking, it's joining these two strings, this text my name is, and then the text that's returned by my name. Now I can use that in Google Sheets. I just use the ampersand here, and that allows me to join text together. So you know, if I had a couple of different words here, uh, if I had like the fox is red, I could use the concatenation here to say uh, this cell and ampersand. We'll go ahead and put a space in ampersand this one d9 and space and d10 and sp space and d11 and it just joins all of those together it just kind of adds the strings together now we can do that in google sheets uh, script editor as well um, one thing i might want to do is i might want to have a first name and a last name so var first name is equal to tim bar last name is equal to James and then I could return first name but in Google Sheets script editor when I'm in Google Sheets I use the ampersand when I'm in the script editor when I'm writing app script I use an, a plus sign now when I save this if I come back it should give me all of the results as Tim James, but that's coming out of two different strings that I've joined together that I've used this concatenation for within uh, within the script editor here. So AppScript gives me a pretty easy ability to kind of put strings together, uh, and I can use this a couple of ways. You know, one of the things that I might want to use in uh, AppScript is I might want to concatenate a whole lot of text. So I can create a function, you know, lots of text. And I can create a variable here. We could just create a variable called text and we could say this is, and then we could add to it. So we could use text is equal to text plus some text. Text is equal to text plus that goes on. Text is equal to text plus for several. Text is equal to text plus lines return text and what we're doing here is we're creating a variable we're creating this first variable text and setting it equal to this is and then we're saying text should be equal to whatever was in text before and then we're going to add some more text to it so this you know if we look at this from a mathematical standpoint text equals text plus something else that that usually isn't going to work out unless you know text is zero uh, but we don't want to think about this mathematically because this equal sign isn't saying these things are equal it's saying set text equal to whatever we're going to tell it to set it to so text is equal to this is text is equal to text plus now we can do all of this but we don't have to actually do it one by one like this uh, we could actually use the 
the, a different operator here. We have an operator that will append to text, and we use plus equals to append to text. And this will do exactly the same thing in exactly the same way. So if we change each one of these to a plus equals, it's basically just saying set text equal to text plus this other thing. So now if we go back to our, our spreadsheet here and we use lots of text, we'll get a result here. There we go. This is some text that goes on for several lines. But we're not actually seeing those line breaks here. We're just getting this is some text because it's putting this all together as one string. So that makes it a little bit easier to kind of you know read as we get longer and longer lines. We can just kind of append and append and append to our, our text. But we can manipulate these variables. You know, we can create new variables like var whole, full name is equal to first name plus space plus last name. And that's going to kind of give us the same thing here. So we could change this to full name. So we can set new variables based on these concatenations. So we can work with strings and add more values to strings and add more text to strings and do all sorts of things to, to, uh, to create new strings, to create new variables. Now, we also have the ability to create parameters in our text. So, um, you know, one thing we might want to do is create a function, you know, called duplicate. And we give it a, a, some parameter, some value here. And we could say return value concatenated with value. So now we have a parameter value that we can actually operate on. And that works just like it we would work with any other function in Google Sheets. So if I said uh, duplicate frog, that's going to give me frog frog. And if I were to say duplicate go that would give me go go and you know if I were to call duplicate with run that would give me let's well, see we ran into a problem here we did something bad well we probably just didn't give it enough time to run here see it's giving us an error so we could even do something like do plus b10 or ampersand b10 so there we go we can kind of manipulate each one of these uh, these strings we can uh, concatenate here we can concatenate over in our script editor and we can use these parameters to to kind of operate on some text that we've received you know so we've got a lot of functionality a lot of capability in google sheets to build these different functions in different ways and and kind of manipulate the text but we'll see how we can get into other things in in uh, future videos here how we can get into things like numbers and making actual calculations within app script but for now this should give you a pretty pretty basic introduction to how you can create custom functions and how you can make them do different things for you. Thanks for watching.